Hi, in this video I have a dishwasher with a faulty soap dispenser. Now one can obviously go and buy a new soap dispenser but this is a very old dishwasher and this is also a Miller dishwasher and these parts are quite expensive. So I'm going to demonstrate how I resolve this using just plastic welding. So obviously you'll need a soldering iron and then in this case I'm going to have some spare plastic which I'm going to use to rebuild the two sections which are faulty. So let me just show you the fault. This is the door and what happens is one closes it and it's supposed to lock close but as you can see but, but there I'm showing it's definitely not locking closed the reason for this is this has totally worn away and obviously the water and the soap and the heat has made it brittle there was a protrusion here which is supposed to catch on this lip here now both are faulty the lip on this side is damaged there's no groove here anymore to hold this down so how this works is when it's time to open the dispenser inside the unit this turns inward like that and it's supposed to release this door but as you can see that even though this is fully in the open position still not holding the cover the door down so there i can see that it's damaged a piece of the plastic is broken off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some plastic welding here to build this up again so i've switched my soldering iron on i'm going to get some extra what i call donor plastic this is some good high quality plastic it's just from an old camera bracket and i'm just going to cut a piece off here which i'm going to heat up and weld onto the old plastic Okay, there is my donor plastic. I'm using my soldering iron, which was set to about 400 degrees centigrade, so it's pretty hot. There I'm showing that I'm just letting that sit on that and totally heat up. I'm going to place this over here where I'm going to be soldering it on to the old plastic and I'm going to show you step by step how to get this plastic onto the new plastic. Now notice that I'm completely melting this new plastic onto the old plastic. And if it's too much, don't worry about it because it's quite easy to get rid of it after the fact. In order for this to work, the new plastic has to heat up a lot and then it's no good just pasting it over the new plastic. I actually have to weld it and that's what I'm going to show shortly. All I'm doing is I'm just heating up the new plastic and kind of forming it a little bit. All right, so the new plastic is nice and hot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my soldering iron onto the new plastic and go right through to the old plastic. So I'm making a hole. So there is quite a significant hole. And the reason I'm doing that, I need to burn the old plastic and get it to mix and actually fuse with the new plastic. So how I know it's working is when I see that the old plastic and the new plastic are no longer differentiatable. What I mean by that is the new plastic was white. It was very white. While this old plastic is almost beige and it's now completely changed color. And the reason for this is it stops it from being brittle. So what has happened, you have heated up the new plastic and it is totally fused with the old plastic. It's like one piece now. Now, obviously I still have to form it, but notice how resilient it is already. It is completely one piece now. Now all I need to do is form that into a lip so that that lever can catch onto this. So I just need to make sure that it's at the same level as the platform that was already here. Okay, so right now it's too big. I'm just making it smaller. Right, I'm just heating this up here and opening it up here to make it beveled. And I'm just now beveling it downwards. The nice thing about plastic welding is if you've made a mistake, you can just uh, bring some more plastic and then melt it into the old plastic. So I'm just rebuilding this up. All right, so I've put a clump of plastic here and in order to make it in the shape of a lip that is beveled, I'm going to use a Dremel. So I'm just using a Dremel and this bit and I'm just going to, using a slow speed, just form this into the shape that I want. All right, so this side is now provisionally finished. There's definitely a lip there, and now I just need to fix the lever. So on this side, there's no finger grip here to push this in and pull this open. So I need to add some plastic here to give me a finger grip. So I'm just gonna build up this so that I can grab it with my finger. So very important is to make a hole. I'm actually making a hole in this old plastic right in there. And then I take the new plastic and I melt it into that hole. 
right there I'm showing I've made a hole right in there and now I take the donor plastic the new plastic and I get it right in there and I hold it in there for a while to completely melt the old plastic and the new plastic together now of course it looks like a mess but notice there's a piece of plastic that is now melted into the old plastic so look at this I've now got a rigid piece of plastic to extend there and that's what was missing so obviously I'm going to make it look better I'm just showing you the principle it's gone right into the old plastic and it is not brittle if I just use glue this would just snap off if I tapped it hard it would just break off but now look at that so all I need to do is form that in the shape that I want and then I now have the lever there was once a lever here but it obviously has broken off Going to extend this a little bit. I want this flared, so I'm extending this a little bit more. Right, so using the plastic welding, I've built this all up. You can see that it is strong, it is not brittle, I'm quite rough with this, and there it's perfect. So all I need to do now is form it using the Dremel. Right, so in order to make this closed, I just need to cut a groove in here so that this top part can clip into there. Right, once it's formed correctly, I just go over it with a little bit of sandpaper. Just make it smooth. This is a 400 grit sandpaper. Just smoothing out all the burrs. And now it's working. And when the dishwasher is now in the hot cycle, this little lever automatically goes in and there the door opens, allowing the soap to dispense. This is now usable and fixed because of plastic welding. Right, it is working, but I would like to improve on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of metal, which is from an old windscreen wiper, and I'm going to place it here, which is going to act as the clip. It'll be much more reliable with this metal. All right, so I'm just melting a blob of plastic here into the original old plastic and this is where that metal piece is going to sit. So it's hot enough for me to insert the metal and it will seat inside this plastic. Right, so now I've inserted the metal and I'm heating it up and I'm just twisting it. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect now, I'm going to have to align it just now. Right, so I'm just resting the soldering iron on the metal and the plastic and I'm letting the metal heat up and I'm going to create a platform for this metal on the one side. Alright, so the metal is in place. It's not perfect, but now I'm putting the soldering iron on the metal to press it down so that the metal is at an angle going down. Right, so it doesn't matter if it's a mess there. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. That side is just holding it in place. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to melt some plastic and I'm going to melt it into the original plastic over here. So I first start with my donor plastic, get it very hot. Once the donor plastic is completely melted, then I can insert it there on the old plastic. Now to make this strong, I have to make a hole in the old plastic. There, I'm seating my, I'm embedding the tip of my soldering iron right in there. I'm actually melting the old plastic and inserting the new plastic inside there, holding the soldering iron there for some time, and it's completely melted together now. You can't even tell the difference between the old color and the new color. Right, now I'm just heating up the metal and using the heat from the metal to form the plastic which surrounds the metal. So now, because it's warm, I can totally form this exactly the way I want it. And it's a little bit high on the one side, so just dropping it down a little bit. Right, now I just need to clean up the plastic that is on the sides. So at this point, I can actually use the Dremel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of metal on this side. So it's going to be beveled like that and this will be the clipping side on the lever side. So I'm just going to make a hole here where I'm going to seat that metal. Right, so there's the metal and I'm just embedding it into this lever. Now I'm going to take some new plastic and melt it over the metal. Right, there's the lever. There's a nice groove there. There's a piece of metal in there supporting it. And uh, notice when I close the lid, 
it not only does it push that lever in because it's beveled, it's actually a tight fit. So if I show you on the side, this has to be watertight while it does the rinse cycle. Uh, only when it does the hot cycle does this actually open. So if you notice that even when I press this, it doesn't actually uh, close much more. If it was say like that, that would be a problem. So when I press it down, I can actually feel the sponge compressing and that's what I wanted. All right, so there you can see the metal. I've used the plastic welding on the sides there to hold this metal in place. This is really strong. In order for this to break, it would probably break this whole front door. By using this metal, I can now hook it nicely. You can, you can see how nice and grippy this is. Right, so this PCL was built up completely. This was completely non-existent. It had broken off a month ago. So now I've got the lever, which was originally here. And notice that when I close it, it actually pushes that lever in because of the beveling. And it holds us very firm in place. I'm actually bouncing the door. So that latch is working perfectly now. All right, so very rough, but very functional. And this will bring new life into this dishwasher, keeping in mind that I'm not going to color this because obviously the water and the heat will remove any paint. So at this stage, I just have to leave it like this. Thanks for watching and cheers.